Getting past the hour, joining us now from Capitol Hill, Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill of Missouri. Claire, great to have you back on the show. Thanks. Hi, guys. Hi. Uh, Joe and Halpern here. I'll start. Um, Bernie Sanders is doing quite well in the polls, and I guess we're wondering, uh, we know you're ready for Hillary. Do you think there's any concern there? No, I, I think the media is giving Bernie a pass right now. I very rarely read in any coverage of Bernie that he's a socialist. I think everybody wants a fight. And I think they are not really giving the same scrutiny to Bernie Sanders that they're giving to certainly Hillary Clinton and the other candidates. So uh, she's going to win this. And uh, as soon as I think they begin treating him like a serious candidate instead of, oh, my gosh, it's so great. We've got to fight in the Democratic Party. I think it will become very clear. Any other candidate that had the numbers that Hillary Clinton had right now yeah. um, would be um, you know, talked about as absolutely untouchable. And all of a sudden, oh, Bernie, Bernie. Bernie, right. Bernie. I think it's. Um, uh, uh, I think Bernie is too liberal uh, to gather enough votes in this country to become president, and I think Hillary Clinton is going to be a fantastic president. So essentially, I agree with you. Just sort of analyzing from afar. Um, but w what do you make of these massive crowds he's getting, and the impact that could have on Hillary's message? Um, and and they they do account for something, don't they? Well, um, you know, uh, Rand Paul's father got massive crowds. Ron Paul, mm -hmm. he got the same size crowds. Pat Buchanan got massive crowds. It's not unusual for someone who has a, an extreme message to have a following, and massive is relative. Um, I think um, Hillary had a massive crowd at her announcement. Mm -hmm. um, certainly as large as any crowd that Bernie Sanders has had. So you think, so you think Bernie Sanders...